you can bolt on out there because things look pretty good for the rest of the day after a soaking rain here in the Des Moines area, closing in on two inches of precipitation right around the metro. 70 degrees, that's the warmest it's been all day. The winds out of the south southeast will be seeing a switch in the winds over the next several hours into tonight. Look at the air pressure all the way down to 29.63. Now, the next couple of hours, we'll have partly cloudy skies. Again, this is the best part of the day today. And that'll continue into the evening. And then later tonight, clouds move back in from the west northwest. Chilly in the morning in the 50s. And then tomorrow, a lot of clouds and breezy. That'll keep highs only in the upper 60s. Now, the rain moving its way out to the east. All the strong stuff is crossing the border on into Illinois with several severe thunderstorm warnings. In fact, a tornado watch across most of Illinois. Here in the central Iowa area, you can see the rain has moved out with the exception of maybe a scattered shower later tonight done with the rainfall. Now, the rain from earlier today through about 4 o'clock here in the metro, fairly impressive. We had a ban from Harlan on down through the Adair, Creston, Afton area of close to 2, 2.5 inches, an inch and a half up in the metro area, 1.8 uh, around the airport, at least based on the uh, radar estimates, and then north up to two inches of precipitation. So a significant rainfall event that started early this morning. Here's some of our school net sites down in southern Iowa, including of Afton, almost three inches at the school there, Fontenelle out to the west, 2.8, North Polk up near Polk City, 2.43. So lots of precipitation, and that rain has really cooled things off. Mid 60s now to the north. Out in western, excuse me, eastern Iowa, that's where the warmer temperatures were, and that's where they had the severe weather, but it just stayed too cool and cloudy here to generate anything in the way of uh, strong storms in the Des Moines metro. So that's good news. You can see the low pressure wrapping up to the north and west. That's going to drag some cloud cover back over the region later tonight and through most of the day tomorrow. Our winds will start moving in from the west northwest, and they'll be a bit gusty. You can see this pressure change across the state tomorrow. We count each of these lines and multiply by 10. That's a pretty good indication of some of our gusts for tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow, a cooler day, clouds and breezy. Look at those highs in the 60s to near 70 degrees. So a big change. Should be a great day to be at the fair, although a bit breezy. 58 for tonight. West winds 10 to 20. Tomorrow, clouds, breezy. 69, that'll be it for the high. And we're going to end the rest of the work week in pretty good shape, warming back to the lower 80s on Friday. The weekend, Saturday, looks pretty good. The rain looks very late in the day into early morning Sunday. And then next week, the fair will be done, but temperatures will be fantastic. Thank you, John. A lot going on in traffic this afternoon.